Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys. I'm really excited to see, I'm assuming more of this arc. I don't know. I'm still excited nonetheless. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So last time we got a pretty scary episode, I think. It was scary for me because we had zombie bugs. We had zombie bugs. And there was even a point at which like, they're trying to get out of this structure catacomb whatever and they're like climbing up and the the zombie bug is just reaching after them like I was half expecting it to like pull somebody back down um they all made it out safely which is great um <clears throat> but it was very scary and um there was a part at which <laughs> I almost got really done with Obi-Wan because they were about to like put this nasty worm thing in Luminara's ear and he's just like you want to start taking bats on what ear they're going to put it in? And I'm like, Obi-Wan, I'm done with your sass, my friend. I'm done. And then they were just stalling, and, and they had this whole, of course, big hero entrance planned for uh, for a rescue. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was an intense episode. I feel like each episode of this arc has been a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, you know, as with all Clone Wars episodes, they've each kind of had their own focus of you know, what the moral of the story is. And I guess last time the moral of the story was kind of regarding Luminara asking for help or having kind of a, a you know, difficulty doing that. Um, and we saw her a couple times like, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, don't come for me. And it's all good. And they're like, no, we're coming for you. She's like, no, it's all good. I'll just go in there by myself. I don't care about the sandstorm. I don't care about any of that. It's all good. Um, so, you know. There's lots of lessons to be learned in there about relying on your friends and teamwork and all that good stuff. So um, I don't know if this is going to be a continuation of the story. Um, I think that was part three of the arc. So I'm not sure actually um, what exactly is, you know, if we're going to start off fresh with another one or if we're going to kind of keep going with, you know, um, okay, we did this, now we're on to this. It's kind of the way we've been going. So um really loving it really just the the plots are very good and just the 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 banter the action everything we get between the characters each episode is what makes it so worthwhile um and I just have a blast with every episode so um all right guys uh with that being said what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into this very next episode of Clone Wars let's go and is not exactly on the way Lord okay. Jake must begin debriefing Poggle right away if we're to get useful intelligence from him. Master. So what do we do? I suggest we let our Padawans handle the supply. Oh. Machine. Whatever needs to be done, Master. I'm happy to help. Yay. Um, Very well. He Take believes in them. And after we've delivered. Oh, got some sleepy clone guys here. Oh no, no, it's the. No, 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 no. It's the worm. It's the worm. No, no. I could live my whole life without seeing that. Oh, no, he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a crazy cr- Oh, my God. Did you see that? Thank you, sir. Oh, it's funny you should word it that way, Land of the Living, because as it so happens, he is now a zombie. It's a big change from all the fighting the last few days. You should enjoy this piece while it lasts. I can't. Let's go eat. Oh, midnight snack. Okay. Does anyone have like a little white, white noise they could put out for Ahsoka so she could sleep? Oh no, it's going to be the least of their worries. He is also looking to get a midnight snack. Oh no. No, he's not. No, he's not. No. He is, isn't he? Oh god, they're. Oh no. No, guys. No, I'm. 
I'm so not about the worms crawling into... No. Ugh. Oh, God, so many. Like, all of them. Master Windu has said we are keepers of the peace, not warriors. However, once the war right. is over, it will be our job to maintain the peace. Yes, but... True. Will we do so as keepers of the peace or warriors? Oh. Um, what's the... What does your master tell you? Anakin? Oh, um... You might find some of his thoughts on the future, uh, a bit radical. Mm. Why? Let's just say well. we always do what needs to be done. I'm not even sure how peacetime will agree with him. My girl. My poor girl. <laughs> you just have no idea. Would you like to join us? Uh, they'd like you to join Is them as wrong? zombies. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, they didn't get that. Us. What is going on? Did you order them to kill us? No, sir. Oh, oh. I did not. Okay. All right. Why would they All right. do this? We don't know. We heard shots. Why Everyone be cool. You? Look. Everyone be cool. No gun. We should make sure that we're still in control of the bridge. Bridge? This is Barris. Respond. They didn't know about the worm things, did they? That's really too bad that they, uh... They don't seem to have known about the the worms at all. I'll attempt to override the controls. He's infected. Oh, now they're putting it together. Oh God! Oh, oh Lord! Oh God! The. What is that? The. Oh no. No. Oh great. And they're like, here you go, here's some for you. No, thank you. Oh, they're really not gonna like that they slice those eggs in half. I think we should stay together. As do I. Unfortunately, that's not a luxury we have right now. One of us must succeed, Ahsoka. If you need to, we'll do what must be done. <clears throat> I know it. Yes, of course. Then I'll see you soon. Bye, friend. Oh, I. So, I'm worried about Ahsoka, but I'm really worried about the other Padawan. Because I really do not know if she makes it out. You must bring this ship in. The only way we can stop these parasites is to analyze them. You don't understand how terrible these things are. Yeah. We will take precautions. Uh. I have a bad feeling about this, Master yep. Cristo. Yeah. But I will follow your instructions. Oh. Okay. I uh, know I'm with her. I'm I Oh dang it. No. Oh if god. One thing we clones know is how to stop a Jedi. I that do, that doesn't make sense cuz they all the they help the Jedi. No. I got her. Someone here who wants to speak with you. Ahsoka, <gasps> what's going on? Are you okay? Oh, well, oh he's so concerned. Exactly. Yeah, no, nothing's okay. As a matter of fact, oh, I can't believe they got her too. Is that, can this be reversed? Is like what I was asking earlier. Are they like gone now? I'm and wait for my signal. Ah, that was so creepy. That was genuinely okay. scary. What's wrong? She's she's gone. No. She's not in there. Uh, oh. I don't think it's that simple. Great. Now one of them has a lightsaber. So it's re it's it's more than just like you know I'm in here now and now. I've taken over your mind. It's like they can use all of the knowledge and memory and everything. Oh, Anakin, you're being a little scary right now, friend. Oh, I think you're gonna regret. 
I don't oh, need mind tricks to get you to talk. Mm. I will never talk. Ah. Uh, we'll see about that. Oh dear. Eh. The music. They're pl are they playing the Vader theme right now? That's crazy. I don't know whether to cheer for him or be scared or both. How did they get on board her ship? Poggle said the parasites must have needed a new host after we raided the Queen's temple. You interrogated Poggle. I did. Uh. It wasn't time to get the rest of you. How did you get him interrogated? To Look, all that matters is that he told me how to stop the worms. No one go check on Poggle. We need a cleanup crew before anyone goes check on Poggle. Just it's stay away so from Poggle and take his word for it. Listen to me. The worms are affected by the cold. Cold? That's how we stop them? <sighs> and it's about to get frosty in here. Well, it's too bad this was pre-Disney because we could have had a nice crossover with Frozen. Thinking of Ahsoka alone there with all the zombies is pretty scary. Ooh, yeah, sweetheart, you're gonna need a jacket, maybe a sweater. Ooh, the voice though. Can you hear me? I'm shutting down the engines. I'll try to reverse the. Ah. Ooh. So, like, will they? Oh, that, that's dark. Whoa. Was that, whoa, and then, uh, so, that's very disturbing. How about you slice that thing right in two? Oh, oh, God. Do, you gotta do it, sweetie. Did she, did she just slice the thing in half? Or did she... Did she do, did she do something else? I'm terrified for what they're gonna find when they go in there. Oh, all the... Oh, Soka. Hello, Master Fisto. Oh, honey. We're ready to pick up the supplies. <gasps> oh, baby, she's... She's all about her mission. I love her. She's so good. Did any of them like survive? Barris is fine. Thanks oh. to your efforts. Yay. So are the clones. Okay, so they can. They can survive. Things. Barris was gone. She wanted me to kill her. She told me. But you couldn't do it. No. No, I couldn't. Mm. But should I have? I mean. It worked out now, but if we had failed, if the ship docked and the worms spread and... Ahsoka, it's your duty to save as many lives as you can. Barris knew you could save thousands if the worms were destroyed, which she thought meant destroying her too. Right. But you did the right thing. Hmm. You knew the freezing cold would kill the worms. Letting There's a third option. Is a difficult struggle for all of us. You followed your instincts. I'm sure she would agree that you made the right choice. Y yeah. Oh, he sounds so wise. It's hard to believe he was torturing a dude a few minutes ago. Okay, guys, that was a great episode. I have to say, last episode, I was very intent on the fact that it felt very horror vibe and um, very, like, horror-inspired. Oh man, they just, they just up the ante with that in this one. Um, some of the shots in there, like we had like, I, the second one felt kind of like a jump scare where like she pops out from behind Ahsoka. It was really well done. But the first one where they're just like, we see Ahsoka and they pan and there's, <laughs> I can't remember her name, but um, what did they say? It was Barris, I think. I can't remember. But the other Padawan just like standing there, I'm like, oh, dang it. I just was not expecting that at all. It was such a well done um, scare. Um, and when they have, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things in here that like felt very 
like dark. Like I, I am almost surprised that they would do it on a show like this where she was like begging her to kill her at the end. I'm like, oh, the mouse would not approve. Um, or me, I don't know. I mean, they still do some pretty cool stuff. I think even post Disney, but um, <laughs> just sitting there like, mm, no, this would not. Oh, the mouse would not abide this. Um, but it, it was really, really well done. Um, I love the, um, the message. I thought for sure the attachment was going to have to do more with Anakin. Um, and you could argue that maybe, you know, like they've even said here that she's picked up a lot from him and he's rubbed off on her. But in the end, it was about her feeling, um, you know, did I let my emotions get in the way, my feelings for a friend, you know, at the expense possibly of who knows how many people, because they even implied that at the end there that like, that's kind of how the whole planet got taken over in the first place, which makes sense, actually. Um, but, you know, I get where she's coming from. I do think like there is a there is a middle ground, like Anakin does have a point about that, that, um, you know, she knew what was going to neutralize them. And, you know, she, sometimes you do have to follow your gut and everything. Of course, of course, you know, I feel like even more so, um, than others, I feel like, uh, Anakin's really about like following your instincts and everything. Um, as we see, he often like kind of thinks on the fly during a mission and we'll like, it seems like he's doing his own thing. And they've actually many times highlighted that like, it seems like he's doing his own thing, and he is, but he kind of, he knows what he's doing. And, like, when Ahsoka tries to reproduce that, it doesn't, because she doesn't have the experience. But, um, but he's, he is all about that, I feel like, following his instincts and everything. So, uh, that makes sense. But, you know, I think he's got a point, you know. I think, like I said, I'm like, dang, he's pretty wise for a guy that was just vadering out <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, complete with, like, the Vader music was such a great moment. And I love Anakin on the show so much. And I, I, I don't know if I've said this in reactions. I'm sure I have. But I just, uh, I think it all the time that he just seems like a nice guy. He just seems like a nice guy that you could just hang out with. And he's just laid back. And he's just a good guy, you know. And every once in a while, they'll show you he's a little you know, a little overbearing, and you can see where they're going with it. Oh, no, 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 no. There was no hinting at it in this one. He was straight up, like, like, physically <laughs> torturing this guy. I mean, they didn't show all the torture and everything, but they showed him, hit him, and he's like, oh, no, I don't need no mind tricks for you, friend. I can take care of you with, with this mind trick right here. Um, so, and I imagine, I mean, they cut away because still a kid's show and everything, but yeah, I, I, ooh, no one go check on Poggle. Just, just stay away from Poggle's cell. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> Dang it. Um, all right, guys, that was fantastic. I just always have such a blast watching this show. I think it's so fun for a show that's also so philosophical and th thought provoking. Um, it really is a great, as Star Wars is in general, just a great blend of like that character building and just fun, awesome action. So, um, and this one had the great horror twist on it as well. And I have to say, like they hinted at the worms last episode, seeing the worms go up the no, mm, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> what I did there just kidding just kidding don't please don't subscribe please only patreon <laughs> I love dad jokes I'm sorry um all right guys I'm I'm rambling here so I'll wrap it up I uh, love the episode I hope you loved watching it with me as always thank you so much for joining me today please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together bye for now guys